Embry Labs did nothing wrong, so why are so many people complaining about them? In reality, they're not. It's just like anything else, you have a vocal minority of people who are very loud and outspoken, which makes it seem like it's a way bigger problem than it actually is. I'm gonna to try to compare this to like Apple versus Android. So like Apple, Bamboo is taking their ecosystem and locking it down. They're making it so it's very hard to use outside products like Orca Slicer and all that. And even when you do use them, you have to go through Bamboo's kind of programs to get it to the printer. For most people, that's fine. A lot of people just want something they can go on like Maker's World, find what they want, click print, it sends to the printer, it prints, they come back outside or wherever they're, and it's done and it's good. And they can go have fun and use it whatever. The people who are mad about this are the ones who want to use different slicers, who like to mod and tinker and do all that stuff. And that's fine, but that's the minority, I believe. Like I said, a lot of people just want a 3D printer that they can print. And Bamboo does that great. Just like Apple, like with their iPhones, Apple Watches, their Macs, like everything just connects. And it works very well. Just like bamboo printers work very well. And obviously I'm not like a bamboo fanboy. Like I have two Flash Forge machines and an Ender 3 that I mess around with. And I love that. I love tinkering and modding the Enders and what I can do with that, like my Flash Forge running Clipper. But sometimes you just want something to like just work and you know bamboo printers are gonna work. And for a majority of the user base, that's fine. But there's also like the tinfoil hat people that I think are funny, that these are very few and far between, who think that it's eventually gonna get to like, you have to pay to print something. But like I said, those are very few. They're fun to read on like Reddit, but that's about it.